I usually wear them for about eight, nine hours. And this did not last even five hours. So I would say it was gone after I had my late lunch. <laughs> I had my late lunch like around 3 p.m. and half of the lipstick had disappeared. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today I'll be swatching the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick Trio lipsticks that have some holiday inspired colors. So make sure that you stick around until the end because I will also be doing a wear test on these lipsticks so that we can see how they perform. So make sure that you stay tuned. So this is the packaging that it comes in, this beautiful red reusable box along with some fun artwork on the outside and there are three full size lipsticks in this box. And I also want to mention that these lipsticks are cruelty free. They're valued at $63 but you can get them for $21 at sephora.com, that's where I bought these. So let's just go ahead and open this. Oh, well, I guess I have to take the sticker off. So let me just try and struggle to get this off and then I'll come back. Like I said, I knew I was going to struggle to get this sticker off. It's so annoying when packaging comes with stickers like that. But anywho, uh, you can remove the lid like so. So this comes off and then it reveals the three lipsticks in there. So the shades are holiday inspired. So you'll find like peaches, deep reds and warm reds. And we'll just jump right into this video because I'm excited to see what these are going to swatch like. All right, so this one is described as a sheer brick. It's swatched the way they described it. I just feel like it's not really like a brick color to me. I definitely see a little bit more peach than brick. But this is what it looks like. It's a creamy finish, swatching very nude and neutral-like on my skin tone, which I clearly don't mind. But the formula feels very good. Okay, so this one is called Get Fired and it is described as a warm red, which I can definitely see that. It's not on the cooler tone, it's definitely a warm red. And what can I say about a red lipstick? A red lipstick is a red lipstick. It'll always be a statement lip, it'll always be a power lip, it's always going to be an in control lip. It's always going to be a sexy lip. So I'm always a fan of a nice red lipstick and this does it for me. These don't actually have any smell by the way. I didn't notice any smell with the first one and I did not notice any smell with these. This lipstick is also going to transfer because it has more of a buttery cream finish but it also has like a shine to it. Do you see that? It's, there's a slight shine that gives it that glossy finish which I am totally digging as long as it doesn't like slide off on my teeth I'll be okay and so far so good I don't see it rubbing off on my teeth or anything like that which is something that you always have to look out for with a darker shade lipstick and with it being a creamier finish it's gonna move so you have to keep that in mind but I like this one it's a red lipstick like I said I have nothing bad to say about this one it, it definitely works Now this shade is described as a deep cherry red. So this is black cherry. It's a berry shade clearly. It's not as deep though. I have worn deeper berry shades before and I think this one is like a mid. Deep berry tones are not the easiest to wear or pull off, especially one with a satin or creamy finish because all these lipsticks are satin finish so um, the thing with that is that it's easy to get self-conscious about it going on your teeth I hope none's on my teeth right now I didn't get any with the red one but then again I haven't worn it for so long um, actually I think there's a little bit right there so 
So this is like the oldest trick in the book to remove excess lipstick from in between your lips so it doesn't glide off on your teeth because I know that's what's going to happen with these lipsticks because like I said they are a satin finish lipstick um, so it will move and it will glide so that's something you'll have to think about you'll have to reapply it because it will transfer just put some powder on your lips and that should matte it out so it doesn't glide or transfer as much because these will so you'll have to take your lipsticks with you in your purse so that you can continue to reapply it. So this is the shade that I'll be wearing for the rest of the day so we can see how it performs throughout the day. So I want to do a time check real quick. Okay, so right now it's 1.22 p.m. So I'll probably be back around 10. That's usually my cutoff time for when I start to get ready for bed. Uh, that's when I'll give you my final thoughts on how these lipsticks performed and what I about them so I will check back in with you guys later hey guys so I am back after a very long day the last lipstick I wore was this one black cherry I already swatched it here for you so you can see so this is what it looked like originally when I first watched it and this is what is left so for a time check right now it is 10:09 p.m. So I pretty much had the lipstick on for nine hours. Yeah, I usually wear them for about eight, nine hours. And this did not last even five hours. So I would say it was gone after I had my late lunch. <laughs> so I had my late I had my late lunch like around three p.m. and half of the lipstick had disappeared by the way I had pasta so of course I had to choose the worst of the worst food but hey I need to test this lipstick out so why not but I would say by five o'clock it looked more like a tinted lipstick at that point <laughs> almost half of the lipstick was gone <laughs> So that was that and this is what the remainder of the lipstick looks like. Usually I do still have some lipstick around the perimeter of my lips because typically your lipstick starts to fade from the inner, from your inner lips as opposed to the outer, the outer section of your lip is usually the last place where your lipstick is going to fade from but um, it has vanished. So I would say wear time for me was around four hours and I did not reapply this lipstick because I wanted to see how it would perform throughout the day. So at the end of the day, there are different variables that you have to consider, like what types of food that you eat, what, what are you drinking, are you drinking with a straw, or are you drinking straight off the glass. There are lots of variables that we have to consider. but. I chose the worst of those variables. I had pasta and I did not use a straw or anything because I, I wanted to see how it held up under those circumstances. So that's my review of the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick Trio. They are great lipsticks for those people who suffer from dry skin like myself. I do suffer from dry skin. Uh, but if you're not comfortable or don't want to deal with the high maintenance factor of a lipstick that transfers or that glides on your teeth then you might want to stick with a matte lipstick because that's more low maintenance once it's on you really don't have to worry much about it but with a lipstick that transfers you're gonna have to reapply it you're gonna have to constantly wipe lipstick from your teeth so those are the little hassles that you have to think about, but at the end of the day, your lips will feel great. My lips do feel like there is still moisture that is locked in there. It doesn't feel rough, it doesn't feel dry. So those are some of the benefits or pay off of a lipstick that has a satiny, creamy finish like the B Legendary Lipstick Trio. But that was my review. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you guys are made aware of every time I post a video. It does help my channel out and it does help me to continue to provide more lipstick swatch content like this for you guys so that you don't 
waste your money who wants to waste money especially in these times right so i do appreciate all the feedback and all the new subscribers 